Okay. Hi, everybody. I'm Varun Bhartia. I'm one of the creators of Beehive, and I'm super excited today to be talking about machine learning and what's going on in the field and how can people get started. I'm joined by one of the experts in the machine learning field, Amit Pandey. Hi, everybody. I'm Amit Pandey, product lead at Google, focused on their Google Cloud business, working closely with industry leaders to help them envision and transform their business using Google Cloud, big data, and machine learning. Awesome. Well, first of all, thank you so much for taking your time to kind of give us a lay of the landscape of how, how machine learning works. I think one of the th questions that people are most curious about over machine learning and what's been asked on Beehive is what is machine learning and like and like why are people talking about it right now? Is it is it just a buzzword that's going to go away in a couple years or is it going to be around for a while? Machine learning can help understand unstructured data all the way from audio to video to text and images. Uh, let's take an example. If you were trying to take a signature and compare it with a database of signatures, it is very hard to codify uh, that comparison. Mm -hmm. Or if you're looking to find a face in a, in a database of faces, again, very hard for you to be able to codify it. Mm -hmm. Or if you're looking to find a very specific defect in a manufacturing process, again, very hard for you to be able to codify. With machine learning, it helps understand these uh, these complex data pieces uh, and recognize those patterns uh, so that you can quickly find an answer to your question. Got it. Very interesting. So I guess one of the questions that I think a lot of people also have is, um, you know, the, the idea of machine learning from a kind of academic or theoretical point of view has been around for a while, even the, the specific word machine learning. Why are so many people talking about it now in 2017 as opposed to you know even five years ago? We've been using machine learning in tech for a very long time. At Google, we've used machine learning for our search products, for our ads product, inside YouTube, uh, in Gmail, uh, across a wide spectrum of products. One of the key things that have changed recently is with the advent of cloud, the power of machine learning is now available to everybody. Mm. We are democratizing machine learning usage across the board. And that is seeing a transformation across every industry. Just like when electricity um, was invented and every industry went through a change. Similarly with machine learning, every every industry, every company is seeing a new transformation era uh, that was just not possible pre-machine learning. Yeah, it's super interesting. It really feels like we're at the tip of the iceberg of like what are all the capabilities. Um, so, you know, in the tip of the iceberg, you see the top 10% of, you know, what's going on in the industry. Can you give some examples of things that you're seeing kind of maybe at the industry level or maybe companies that are doing cool things with machine learning so far? Yeah, uh, machine learning is touching several industries. Just to give you an example, some of the top industries it's, uh, it's revolutionizing is media and entertainment, mm. retail, finance, healthcare, um, in media and entertainment, uh, folks are looking at machine learning to automatically generate highlights for your sports game. Mm -hmm. Not even just a highlight, but a personalized highlight uh, for your favorite team, for your favorite player. This was just not possible before with manual edits. In retail, um, the folks are looking at using security camera footage to be able to analyze the video stream and count the number of unique users visiting their uh, physical stores. Uh, in healthcare, uh, folks are using machine learning to automate reading of MRI scans. Uh, um, in uh, finance, uh, folks are using machine learning to automate uh, customer support. Mm. So full spectrum across industries. Uh, just to give you a sense of the, uh, the extremes, uh, uh, there, there's a farmer in um, in Japan that used machine learning to automatically sort through cucumbers. Who would have thought of that? Wow, that's I mean that's really interesting. I think like I love stories like the the, the farmer in Japan. I, I've actually heard of that one, and it and I think that kind of highlights the spectrum of like taking a really complicated topic and being able to boil it down and having enabling someone who's not perhaps the most technology adept to be able to use these tools and do something really um, kind of useful with it. That's really cool. Um, so I think another question that we had on on Beehive was, hey, if I'm a student, uh, you know, that doesn't have uh, you know the full depth of machine learning knowledge. 
college, I have you know a dorm room and a laptop. How can I get started by using some of the concepts of machine learning, whether it's something from Google, other platforms? What are some of the things that I should be thinking about? So at Google, for helping you get started on with machine learning, we have a full spectrum of tools, all the way from we have uh, made the same library, TensorFlow, that we use internally for building machine learning models, publicly available on GitHub, mm -hmm. to a managed environment for you to be able to simply drag and drop to build your machine learning models mm -hmm. uh, using TensorFlow, uh, to uh, a set of already trained machine learning APIs to understand audio, video, text, and images, uh, trained on massive amounts of Google data, mm -hmm available on your fingertips for you to be able to quickly integrate into your applications uh, for you to be able to bring the power of machine learning to that next innovation that you're building whether it's a chat app or automating customer support or doing something with uh, with video wow that's really cool um that's i mean that that's really powerful that all of these kind of tool sets are available can you talk a little bit more about you know maybe some of the stuff that google's offering and some tools that you might use beyond the technology infrastructure you know i think as i've built a lot of things i've always found that you know you, you can understand maybe the core concepts of how something works but you also need you know the support of the community you also need courses you also need to learn the ins and outs of how these things work kind of at a practical level some of the other things you need when you get started with machine learning is one is data is a key component to any machine learning models that you're building. At Google, we've contributed 8 million YouTube videos to Kaggle uh, for you to be able to train and build your own models. Uh, there are other publicly available data sets. There's uh, ImageNet available for being able to train models for images. Uh, there's also a whole slew of courses available online, all the way from TensorFlow to being able to get getting started with Google Cloud and machine learning on Coursera, Audacity, and a bunch of other online options, as well as courses being offered from reputable in, uh, universities like Stanford and Berkeley. Full spectrum for, for you to be able to get started. And last but not least, there is um, there's a massive amount of online community of meetups, uh, as well as just groups uh, group discussions where you can you can ask questions, get connected with other professionals who are working in with machine learning. Got it. Wow, that's super, super, super cool. Um, so I think another question that people had around like machine learning, just given that it's such a new field, um, I think a lot of schools don't even offer courses in it. Um, people are looking to get into it, whether you're a student or like you know recently graduated or you've been in the industry for a while. How can someone stand out um, amongst the crowd of people that that are looking to get into machine learning, um, given that you know there's not a rigorous framework around some of this stuff? One of the things I would re encourage uh, students who are looking to uh, get started in machine learning is to build a portfolio of applications where you integrate machine learning. Uh, it could be as simple as a chat app or um, analyzing videos and images or textual con content and use that to showcase when you're talking to potential employers that uh, you not only have theoretical understanding of machine learning, but you've practically applied machine learning to solve some real world problems. I, I think that will uh, that'll definitely help you stand out uh, on, as you are trying to make a career in machine learning. Yeah, that's a, that's a really good point. I think that's something that kind of um, people maybe know about but they don't act on because often they think that oh I have to invent the next billion dollar business in order for my like project to stand out but you know it could be as simple as you know a cucumber sorting method um, or you know I saw one project where students had built a machine learning model to predict which courses at their university would be oversubscribed and that was one of the popular apps that they had, like got their friends to use and were able to highlight and if there's someone applying for an incredible company like Google or like a host of startups that are doing in that space that really shows kind of to end what you know you understand and, and what you're able to to apply um, that's awesome so if I'm a student looking to get started on Google Cloud what can I do today if you're a student looking to get started uh, you can actually get started for free uh, today on Google Cloud we we provide $300 of free credit that you can use to build your own machine learning models use our machine learning APIs or general Google Cloud infrastructure um, uh, and uh, build your application. And as uh, as your usage grows, uh, you just pay for the amount of compute or storage uh, you are using. Uh, but yeah, I mean, you can get started on this journey today for free.
good point. So, you know, I think we're almost out of time. Uh, any other advice or parting words for, for folks that are interested in machine learning? I would say time is right now for you to get started on machine learning. It was, uh, there is a massive amount of infrastructure power available at your fingertips to help you get started with machine learning. There's a massive dearth of machine learning experts in the industry, and there's a huge demand for uh, for machine learning related projects. So I would say get started on this journey right now. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for your time. I really enjoyed this conversation. I actually learned a lot. I think folks um, watching on Beehive and other communities will learn a lot as well. And so people can uh, connect with you as well. Thank you so much for offering that. How can they do that? Uh, you can get connected with me on Twitter. Uh, my handle is Amit Pandey underscore 2000. Uh, so feel free to reach out to me if you are a machine learning practitioner and are interested in uh, uh, either getting started or are looking for opportunities in this particular space. Awesome. Well, thank you so much again. Appreciate it. Thank you, everybody.